for our continuing coverage. It is the 13th day of Dante Lucas's murder trial. He's accused of killing his pregnant ex-girlfriend Kelsey Schelling. Jurors heard another audio recording today from the second interview he gave with Pueblo police detectives following his arrest in 2017. It's live from the courthouse with yeah, Allison, and the we can tell you that the prosecution just rested their case this afternoon after hearing from a couple of other witnesses. But that second interview came the day after Dante was interviewed at the jailhouse. And this time, the detectives did not sound as uh, sympathetic. In fact, they questioned Dante on many of the inconsistencies in his story. For example, when he previously said that it was daylight when he woke up the next morning after Kelsey disappeared, and yet their cell phone data showed that his and Kelsey's phones had been together between 12.30 a.m. and 12.30 a.m. that morning. They both registered near a tower near Beulah. Now, the data also suggests that Dante had Kelsey's phone with him in her car when he went to the ATM the next day. Now, he told them that doesn't make sense and that he'd never been to Beulah, that the last time he'd been there was for a graduation party for a friend from high school back in 2010. Now, Lucas said that he and Kelsey were thought maybe they were just cruising and then turned back around and went back to his grandmother's house. Uh, Kelsey, or Lucas, I should say, continued to deny that he killed Kelsey and said that he's still trying to figure things out and needed more time to find the missing pieces of the puzzle and he couldn't give those detectives an answer when they asked who else he would call and jail records show that the only other call that Lucas made while he was incarcerated was to Jessica Martin. Now, jurors also heard testimony today from a dog handler who was brought in uh, to search that dog trained in searching for human decomposition. He did spot near a tree in the backyard of his grand, uh, Dante's grandmother's house and also uh, alerted on uh, a floor mat and a trunk liner from one of the vehicles that was in police custody. Always watching out for you, Pueblo. Andy Cohen, News 5. Andy, thank you. And stay with News 5 throughout the trial for the very latest developments. We have a timeline walking you through everything that's happened since Kelsey Schelling's disappearance. You can follow our continuing coverage online, on social media, or on your favorite streaming device.